What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Young Butt Refrigeration. If y'all tuning in, I hope y'all consider subscribing, liking the video, share it with your friends, family, or whoever. Oh, today I am going to be working on a frozen food case. I'm going to be installing a drain pan uh, heater. Uh, also, I think uh, some fan blades. I got two fan blades. Uh, but anyway, I had a co worker that went uh, this past Sunday and he needed a drain heater. Uh, usually, um, they are called uh, pencil heaters. Uh, our shop didn't have none. They should supposed to have been ordered uh, some, but never got it. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I got a heater that they recommended uh, to uh, put in the case. So uh, let's do it. All right, guys. So this is the case. Thank God they have it empty. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do move this and then remove the panels on the bottom side you can put this in a buggy or something if you want to or sometimes you can put it above the case I missed one all right guys so this is where we need to put a uh, fan blade at. And I'm guessing this is the drain pan. This heater right here, he said wasn't putting no amp draw, but it got voltage. All right guys, so this is the drain uh, pan heater that we will be putting behind. All right guys, as y'all can see, it ain't even pulling no, no amperage. Pulling nothing. As you can see, we got 120 volts, but we got no amperage. So here, gotta be burnt out. All right, guys. So my temporary workbench, where we have uh, to complete this job, is some strap, um, some self tap screws, and then some silicone. We're gonna put on the screws and all that. You don't want to just put the screws in the case uh, you know moisture and all that can seep through and then cause rust and all that so let's put silicone and this is waterproof got this today hey right, guys so I'm gonna turn this sucker off 15 frozen uh, food doors temporarily really sad and right about now so this store this store is going to be closing down at the end of this month um the manager had told me uh, the manager here uh well the managers here uh, the ladies there are super cool and all that um really friendly uh folks but um dang they going to the other piggly wiggly where i'm gonna be servicing uh well what, well what we usually uh service so it's gonna be right down the road um i can't believe they closing this one down but she told me that everything is going to be uh 15 off um they don't got no banner she said they're supposed to have a banner and all that but that's damn that's kind of sad that it's closing i think she said i asked her why i think she said something with the landlord or something i don't know some issues um let me know if y'all have service stores or i mean anything like houses uh somebody passed away or somebody had a um close a store let me know um if that happened to y'all before um this was like one of my favorite stores they it, it was kind of a pain in the neck but to see it go man it kind of sucks um but 
gonna be pretty interesting. So this rack and all that gonna be off. I wonder if we gonna have to shut it down and stuff. I'm gonna have to talk to my coworker, see if he know anything about it. But I guess we're just gonna keep riding it till the wheels uh, fall off. Uh, it was a good run while it lasted. This was the store where I had to work on that freezer over there where I found the leak in the coil. Um, about like, what, three times, two times. Uh, that's also where the fans had a short. Um, so I recently did videos at this store. Um, damn. Well, anyway, guys, let's get back to work. Just want to vent with y'all. Uh, like I said, it's going to be sad. So it sucks. Alright guys, the easiest thing I'm gonna start with first is going to put this new fan blade in and uh, just go from there. Might not even fit. Nope. Don't want to fit. Alright guys, so I'm using this blade for my van. It look all raggedy and stuff. But this blade right here would not work. It would not work. And plus it's the same style like this one, so I'll just add it there. Hey guys. So apparently we didn't have a butterfly nut or screw. I mean, whatever you want to call it. Let me talk right now. Put the blade on. Once it's on, let's check operation of it. As y'all can see, we got it on. Alright guys, so I'm gonna straighten out this wire hard as best to my ability. As you can see, it was all on uh, the pan, just sitting. Should be up against this fan plenum, but it's not. So I'm gonna make what's work uh, best. It's a hot mess under there. Alright guys, so I'm gonna figure out how can I put this heater in between. As you can see, we got a whole bunch of lines and all that. I had to um, get a bucket of water, uh, which is over there, and remove some ice. All right, guys, so I got the heater in place where I want it at. So I'm gonna strap her down. I wonder where my, um, I just had it. And I got to rinse off the ice over here too. Anyway guys, probably just cut a piece about this size. And uh, go from there. And it's got silicone on it. Into the world and cut it too short. All right, got one strike down and uh, some more to go. So I'll probably go one, two, three, and then four, um, and go from there. All right, guys. So I'm using some original straps. As y'all can see, we got it struck down on this side. I'm gonna have to hook it up in a bit. And I'm gonna strap down this side, put about two or three over here, uh, wire it up real quick, and uh, yeah, call it. All right, guys, only thing I'm doing is just putting silicone on the tip of my screw. Uh, I'm placing a strap over uh, the heater, 
and uh, just strapping her down. I'm gonna show y'all the finished product in a bit. I wonder if I can get footage. This is real tight space. While I'm working. And we probably go about right here. Strap it up right here. Go down one, strap it up, and then uh, use that other strap right there. So I'm using some that was holding down another line. So, yeah. Alright, guys, and that's how I have it. Alright, guys, I'm gonna wire this hot because I can't um, find a breaker for it. Um, but I'm be real careful. But I don't recommend, but you could do it if you want to do it quick. <clears throat> Alright, guys, so we're pulling point 0.9 two which is about in range so we got amp draw now so this heater is working i need to take all this wire or zip tie it up uh, to prevent moisture getting here but anyway i'm going to put this case back all right guys i'm going to place this case back That's it. 